They say every villain was just too nice one day. That's what created them the villain. Corny. Yeah, I know. Joe Villamark, bro, you can skip that, bro. I'm not sitting here trying to tell you how to live your life or how to, you know what I'm saying, you shouldn't be acting like this or not, or you should be the hero. I'm not sitting there saying that at all. Like, I'm going to talk from my perspective, and if you can relate, you can relate. High school. No, nah, I don't really like to really talk about high school because it's in the past. It was a leave past in the past. But for this video, I'm giving it out wisdom. It starts, it starts, it starts there. Yeah, a girl. Yeah, it starts from a girl. Yeah. A lot of people say, don't be the guy with the flowers. Do not be the guy with the flowers. And for a particular person, I was the guy with the flowers for a time. Oh. For one person. You know what I'm saying? Not all the persons. For one person. And I learned my lesson. You know what I'm saying? You live, you learn. You know what I'm saying? Do not be the guy with the flowers because, bro, it can get hectic. So essentially, bro, I'm, I'm doing all these good things. And, and then the girl, at the end of the day, she don't choose me. She don't fuck with me. But at the end of the day, she likes getting her guts rearranged. Okay, we got the end of that story. After the time and time of me being the nice guy and trying to, you know, do the right thing with uh, uh, women, I was like, fuck it. I was like, fuck it. These, these girls, they just want to, they just want to, they just want to get, they just want, they, that's all they want. They just want to get slapped around a little bit. That's all they want. That's all they want. They just want to get slapped around a little bit. I called them quick flips. That was my definition, quick flips. Now, if I could define a quick flip, a quick flip is like a, just a quick flip. It's just literally what what I'm saying. It's a quick flip. That's all there is to it. It's a quick flip. You, a quick flip. You, you you meet up. You quick flip. You go. You get out your bitches. You quick flip. You go. Like there's no 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 if ands no buts no nothing. It's a quick flip and go. Mm -hmm. <laughs> know what I'm saying? No feelings, no, no, nothing attached. Just quick flip, bang, bang, goodbye. You, get on. you know what I'm saying? Go on somewhere. I was doing that for a time. Doing that for a time. I was thinking I had all the, you know, the clout and stuff like that. All I can, I got all the girls and stuff like that. <sighs> Didn't gain nothing. There was still some emptiness inside my heart. There's nothing, there's nothing that matches true love when a person that really loves you. you know what I'm saying you're only going to get unconditional love from your mother at the end of the day. Your mom is the only, per only woman on this earth that's going to love you unconditionally. Not no women. You know what I'm saying? And I'm woman gonna love you like your mom. And you can't look for no woman in your mom because no woman is going to be your mom. And I was lost. You know what I'm saying? There's no there's no way of filling that void if you want, you know, a girlfriend or you know a good girl that you can hang with every day and do more than just quick flips with. And when I became the villain and I became that person it was rumors going around. Oh, he all he does is. You know what I'm saying? He a hoe. You know how girls get. You know he a hoe. Blah blah. You think doing no all those quick flips and doing all that running in and out. You think doing that is uh, solving something and fixing something, but it's really not. It's actually covering up how you truly feel about the situation, how you truly feel. Then I said, on top of that, you keep going down that path of doing quick flips and just, 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 you know, just. You know what I'm saying? Just effing, just effing, just effing, just effing, just effing anytime you want. Just effing, just effing. You're gonna turn gay. And a petition to overturn Mayor West's ban on gay marriage. Gay marriage? Ah, oh, come on. Two halves can't make a hole without a hole. Giggity, 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 giggity. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. Ooh, ee, ooh, ah, ah, ting, tang, walla, walla, bing, bang. I'm, I'm not speaking from experience because I never got into that point, but if you just, you know, you get into that point where it's just numb to you, bro, you're gonna, you're gonna turn gay. You're gonna turn gay. I'm not gonna lie to you. You're gonna be gay. You know what I'm saying? Because you're gonna need something else to fill that void. You're gonna need, you know, a, a different, a different high, a different dopamine. You know what I'm saying? You guys so used to, you know, getting any girl that you want, nigga. You gonna start turning weird, bro. Trust me, bro. Trust me, bro. Look at, look at P Diddy, bro. Look at, you know, look at all the rich people, bro. They get to a certain point where they got all this money, bro, that they nothing satisfies them anymore. So they then they start doing weird shit, bro. I'm not trying to get into that conversation because it's a deep conversation and that's a deep. It's like a like a iceberg. I'm supposed to talk about the villain, shit, and I'm everywhere, bro. I'm sorry, y'all. That's what I'm talking about. I appreciate y'all patience, you, but you're actually doing more damage to yourself when you're out here, you know, messing around and doing anything you want, which is okay to a certain extent, you know what I'm saying? There's nothing wrong with doing what you're doing. And I'm not here again. Once again, I'm saying what I'm saying. I'm not here to tell you how to live your life or, you know, what you did was wrong or nothing like that. I'm just telling you from my experiences. And no, I never got into that point of where I, you know what I'm saying? No. I remember in a car when I was chilling with one of my homies. We was, uh, I was back when I smoked. Well, we was smoking. It was this girl. She was kind of heavy set it. She was a heavy set woman. And she was walking. It was like late at night. And you know, usually the past villain me, 
I would uh, say something rude. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I'm not going to sit here and lie to you. I would probably would have roasted her. You know what I'm saying? But instead of me roasting her, for some odd reason, something clicked in my head. For some odd reason, I didn't roast her. I just said something compliment. I said, I bet she's happy to be alive today. I don't know what. I don't know why. I don't know what. I don't even know that was the exact words, but I said something positive. And after I said something positive about her, not nothing sexual. It wasn't nothing sexual or nothing like that. But it was just something like just I'm I bet she's something I said something of that sort. It was like uh I bet she's happy to be alive or she looks very happy because she was smiling. She was like she looked very happy. And I was like, I bet she's grateful for something or something like that. I was like, I looked at my homie, I was like, hey, that kind of felt good. That kind of felt good to give a compliment. That kind of felt good to Say something positive instead of saying, oh, she look at her clothes or look at her shoes or something like that. Saying something negative. It kind of felt good to do that. And I think that was the stop of my villain arc. <laughs> that probably like, nigga, you did not have no villain arc, bro. Yes, I did, bro. I was a villain, bro. I was out here in these streets, bro. I was out here fighting Batman and shit. I'm not sitting here and saying that, yeah, you should be a hero and you should go out and saving these, saving these girls, saving these HOEs, 304s. Don't go out here saving these 304s. That's not what I'm saying. But, you know, save yourself from the from the unnecessary trials and tribulations that you might go through trying to go on this villain arc, bro. Because, you know what I'm saying? Just just do the right thing and treat people how you want to be treated. Because, like I said before, man, if you want to see change in the world, you got to be the change. You got to be the change. You know what I'm saying? You got to be the first person to step up if you want to see change, bro. You want to see people stop littering? You got to stop littering. You got to pick up the trash. I know I may feel like you're the only one doing it for the moment, but eventually people pick on. You know what I'm saying? People people pick up, people pick up, pick up, pick on. Pick on, pick on. Peter probably pick a pepper than pe peppers. Is this God dang. Peter probably pick a pepper than a pe pepper. And being alone. Being alone will show you a lot. Being genuinely, like, very alone. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, you may have friend, you know, family, but at some point in time, after a breakup I had a while ago, I was really alone. Like I was skinny, like my face was skinny. Like I was losing weight. Like I was, I was down bad. When I was alone, and I was in that dark room by myself, and all I had was, you know, a TV or a video game, and you know, music probably and stuff like that. I really got to really be with myself and face my emotions and face how I was feeling and see who I really was. I was a villain. Back then I was doing things I shouldn't have been doing. Cheating, looking at girls how I shouldn't have been looking at girls and going about stuff like that. And, and you learn from it. And I had to learn from it. I would be like, nah, this is not me. That ties back to what I was saying earlier. Yeah, I was the guy with the flowers before. So don't, that, don't, that doesn't mean give up hope and, and, and think all girls are the same. Yes, I fuck with Juice World, but all girls are not the same. We in this bitch. Ah. So I went on that rent and then I got into a relationship and I still had that that villain, that villain side in me in a relationship and I eventually hurt her. You know what I'm saying? That's what people say all the time. Hurt people hurt people. And I eventually hurt her. And after some time, I had to really sit and think to myself, I wasn't doing the right thing this is not who i am i'm not that that is not me i'm i'm not him i was not him in that point i was not him and i had to realize that i had to sit in my room and i had to realize that i had to sit by myself i had to, you know what i'm saying go through all the trials all the emotions sadness all that i had to face it all and it, and it was a it was a tough experience but i got through it i'm here today you know what i'm saying that's why y'all see me uh, you know with a different mindset and talking different and looking different and acting different and doing different things different and a lot of people don't think it's real a lot of people be thinking oh he's fake he's faking he's he's not him he's not that that nigga used to be roasting because i'm telling y'all right i used to be i used to be a dick bro i used to be roasting people for no reason cooking people making fun of people doing quick flips one of the most weirdest things you know what i'm saying i used to be a weird dude i'm still am a weird dude but I had to learn from it. I had to not take that villain arc. Well, I took it, but I learned from it. So that's, I just contradicted myself then, huh? Telling y'all not to take the villain arc, but then I took the villain arc. But I was just telling y'all my experience from taking the villain arc. The villain arc, man, you don't really, just, just be yourself, bro. 
don't don't try to hurt people don't try to go on a, a arc of being the villain and trying to make yourself the villain a lot of people are going to make make the stories they want to say and they're going to make you the villain in every story that they say but as long as you know you didn't do no wrong and as long as you know who you are as a person as long as you know that what you did was right in your heart and your morals are straight then you straight you shouldn't have to worry about what nobody else got to say about you don't try to defend your name if your name you know what i'm saying they're gonna throw dirt in your name either way so situations with you know close people that you know close people you know what i'm saying that you you would never think would do things to you trust me they would do it to you and it creates it creates a scar but what's a warrior without scars you know what, what is he what is a warrior without scars it's just a nigga with no and no experience you know what i'm saying stay true to you, who you are bro don't let no one tarnish your character don't let no one tarnish who you are as a person don't let no one do that don't let a breakup make you go out and go in body to body to body because my dad taught me this my dad told me this one too you can't go body for body with no female because a dude gonna put his dick in anything a, a girl a girl if she wanted to she can get anything you're not gonna win that body for body count it's more powerful to be able to hold your seed it's more powerful to be able to do that and to not just give it up to everybody and have morals underneath yourself and have that belt that's it's it's more powerful to have that and that that will tell a lot you know what i'm saying because like a lot of girls will probably even my I, I even asked my girlfriend now like what she thought i was probably gonna do after we broke up oh, for Peter. Yeah, that probably be the first thought of a lot of people. Oh, I'm gonna go find somebody new. I'm gonna go fill the void. But that's not gonna fill. You really gotta sit within yourself and sit. And you have to sit. You have to really sit. And I'm being dead serious. You have to really sit there and really face yourself, who you are. Really analyze the situations and the scenarios that you went through with that person or the, the experience that you went through. You really you gotta sit through and just just. Pick a tape. Did pick a tape? Bro, I got this app on my phone. Vocabulary. I'm being dead serious. I got this app on my phone. Vocabulary. Oh, shit. I got this app on my phone. Vocabulary. And I've been, I, trust me, I've been trying to learn new words. So y'all don't sit here and say, oh, nigga, you just be trying to say shit out your ass. No, nigga. I really be sitting here trying to learn words. I, I do. I do. I sit here and I try to learn words. I'm trying to get this thing on the, on the camera. All right, well, it's not gonna come off, so it's probably about to wrap this up. But yeah, I know this is a long, long video. Y'all probably don't know what I was talking about, but I hope y'all got a little bit of message over it. You, the villain art can be skipped. It is, you know what I'm saying? If you go through it, learn from it. 